The Transition to Tyrax and the Tyranian Military When we first transitioned to having a civilian group, we kept the trap group as our military branch from the founding day, May 14th, 2014 to July 26th, 2014. On July 26th, we founded the Tyranian Military. Tyranian activity from 2014 to 2016. On August 4th, 2014, laissez-faire is quoted saying, You are the barrier between Tyrax and destruction. You serve your nation and your people. You have a family on Tyrax that will be slaughtered without your help. Fight back the raiders and keep your home safe. This is a version of Tyrax that was made by Matt in um, May of 2015. So this is just a taste of what Tyrax was supposed to look like. It's supposed to be an icy, blizzardy uh, city world. Tyrax has a bunch of companies in lore. One of them was Hypertech, uh, and another was Imperium Core. Those are the two I can think of off the top of my head. I could also talk for a moment about Mr. Purple. Mr. Purple was, is, he still is. Mr. Purple is uh, the owner of one of the biggest crime syndicates in Tyrax, and uh, he mostly deals in mind grapes, which are a type of grape that if you eat them, uh, you have to keep eating them or else you will explode. This version of Tyrax was scrapped. Um, it just certain certain things like the way studio works sometimes sometimes builds will uh, move like a point one two five six of a of a stud away and uh, it'll just ruin your builds. So some things like that have hindered the completion of Tyranian cities and um, it's very unfortunate because we really do need a working city game. I would be willing to hire a developer if I could um, get a proper sort of concept down, written, or maybe drawn out. Um, because I'd like to have a city for Tyrax so that, you know, the Senate has a reason to be around and we get uh, civilian activity in our group. And um, a reason, uh, things to fight for, a reason to defend outposts. Basically, our outposts are supposed to be planets that are the front against any raiding forces, any enemy forces, and Tyrax is uh, like an untouchable land that you would have to campaign on our exterior worlds um, in order to reach. Another place laissez-faire made during his time as the helm was this little city, and it's one of our frontier worlds. Um, and it's in the United Group Solar System, which is partnered with Stamp against any raiders that would come near our lands. It's a joint operation where we try and control certain worlds of this solar system. And I, I might do a video on this later because, well, Matt actually, mm, um, Matt actually updated this quite recently and um, it's more of a modern game than you know the start of Tyrax and during the era where when Matt retired his role as the helm. There is even a senate chamber for all the senators of Tyrax to meet and vote on things or at least be in person while talking over discord or what have you. So governors of planets can uh, come up here, give speeches, ask for things, or a senator could come up here and talk, or anything of the sort. Anything political. On August 7th, 
the first training of the Tyranian military was held. On August 9th, revered soldier Guardia Guy, also known as Cool Kid 95, was the first commissioned officer of, in the Tyranian military. On November 30th, 2014, Jiguhu, another revered soldier, holds a training. August 25th, 2014, Roblox held the official clan battle, and Tyrax placed top 25 for the first half of the week, but fell to top 5,000. I personally got a silver Bloxer trophy, which meant I was in the top 10,000 players. November 28th, 2015, Revered Soldier Arbiter 202 is commissioned as an officer. Now on that same day, Laissez-faire obtained the 100 millionth user ID under the account All Hail Tyrax. This account brought our group lots of attention, both positive and negative. Notable people such as Kaneko Kitten made comments on this account. He had a negative take and called my brother jaded, <laughs> which I find to be hilarious. This brought us into a new age for half a year of activity, and we were doing a lot with the military, and even a Senate was finally being implemented. November 2015 to February 2016, Arbiter held trainings, practice raids, and other events. During that time, in March, Revered Soldier Law Michael 12 held a training. On February 4th, 2016, Revered Soldier Tech Planner is accepted into the military. February 21st, 2016, Revered Soldier Cody 120 is commissioned as officer. The Tyranian military ran smoothly until the summer of 2016. Before the summer of 2016, Laissez Faire had decided to quit Roblox. So he chose his successor. People were surprised that it was some guy no one had met named General Kroon. Kroon was very inactive, so people began to worry and anger. In the summer of 2016, tensions were rising between members of the military and their new leader, Kroon. It came to a boiling point when Arbiter ran an election against Kroon, and Kroon declined the results. The wall erupts. Two factions clash in the streets of Tyrax. Kroon and Arbiter agree that they should meet each other's forces on the moon of Tyrax. The battle that ensues is one of the most epic battles in Tyranian history. Next episode, Stroke of Grace. <laughs>